from the East Coast LQ Views. Today, we're reviewing a beer by Phantom Farms Brewing. This is their Elegant Viking New England IPA. It's a 6.5% IPA, dry hopped with Nectaron, Strata, and Galaxy hops. Um, pretty cool looking can art, I will say. Side there. On the side of the can, it says named in honor of the Kvik East from Norway. Elegant Viking pours an orange haze with a juicy flavor profile of ripe apricot and orange. Brewed by Phantom Farms Brewing out of Cumberland, Rhode Island. It says keep cold, drink fresh. And uh, no can on date. But I did grab this at the uh, brewery yesterday with Eric. Today is April 7th. Yesterday was April 6th. So I'm assuming they're fresh. Uh, they actually only had two cans to go. Uh, this and a stout. And actually I bought a four pack of the stout and Eric bought a four pack of the IPA and we split them. So we got two cans of each. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's crack this open, pour it up. Uh, I seen some people had this on draft. It looked pretty good. I don't think I tried it on draft because I knew I was going to try it on the, uh, out of the can. Um, I did have a double IPA by then that was pretty good though. Let's pour this up. Get a little bit of water in there. Right. Looks really nice. Some good hop saturation. Looks a, bit, a little bit darker on camera actually. It's a lot more uh, hazy golden orange in person. Nose. Lots of pineapple, mango. Peach. Some of that hop resin. It's like brightness. It's a really nice citrusy kind of tangerine note as well. It smells really good. Let's dive in and try it out. Cheers. Very clean. Definitely uh, some grapefruit and orange peel on the finish. Up front, more pineapple, peach. Yeah, a little bit of that kind of like pithy, dry bitterness. Nice honey-like sweetness, along with a biscuity breadiness. No off flavors. Definitely a little bit more lighter bodied. Um, pretty crushable. It's got a little bit of a um, slight hot burn going down. Just a little touch of it. It's also the first New England uh, New England IPA or any kind of craft beer today. Um, carbonation. It's on the uh, lighter side of medium. Yeah, mouth feels about medium. It's pretty solid. It's actually very drinkable. I do like it. Um, I believe they're like a fairly new brewery. And uh, for, from what I've tried, I, at the brewery I had a double IPA and a dry hop pilsner. And from what I've tried by these guys, uh, their beers are pretty good, pretty tasty. Um, this four pack was, mine was 17, I think. The stout was 17, Eric bought the IPA. And it was 19. Um, so not bad, 19 bucks for this. Um, pretty solid beer, I will say. Uh, this and the double IPA that by them was pretty good. Yeah, a little bit more on the crushable side for New England. Um, a little bit less uh, hop saturation. A little bit less of that like flaked oats. Um, so like I said, it's a little bit more lighter body, a little bit more drinkable. 
Really good though. Solid blend of uh, tropical and citrusy for sure. As far as the number, I would give this uh, right around uh, 90 range. I want to say 91. 91 out of 100, A minus for the Phantom Farms Brewing Elegant Viking. Yeah, pretty dang good. Uh, pretty crushable. 19 bucks, solid price for what you're getting. Like I said, no off flavors or anything like that. Uh, it's all product. Excuse me. Pretty impressed with these guys. Um, I'm excited to try some more stuff by them. Hopefully they keep brewing some more beers and you can get some more cans to go. And I can do more video reviews like this with uh, cans. Um, and yeah, look out for the review on the, uh, I believe it's called the Berkeley Stout by these guys. And uh, I'm going to recommend it. If you're in the Cumberland area, check, uh, check them out, try them out. Um, like I said, I believe they're fairly new. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.